Hello everyone, welcome to our listening and speaking practice. In this exercise, I'll be telling you a story and I will stop at every sentence to ask you a question. Our goal for this exercise is to help you think faster in English. So, try to answer as quickly as possible. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, so today... We'll be looking at the schedule of Mike. Welcome to a day in the life of Mike. Mike works as an accountant. What does Mike do? That's right. Mike works as an accountant. Does Mike work as an accountant? Yes, he does. He lives in Canada. Where does he live? That's right. He lives in Canada. Does he live in Mongolia? No, he doesn't. He is married and has three kids. Is he single? No, he's not. He's married. How many kids does he have? That's right. He has three kids. Every day, he gets up at 5 a.m. What time does he get up every day? Yes, 5 a.m. Or he gets up at 5 a.m. every day. Does he get up at 6 a.m.? No, he doesn't. He gets up at 5 a.m. After he gets up, he makes coffee. After he gets up, what does he make? Yeah, that's right. He makes coffee. Then... He spends time with God as he drinks coffee. Does he spend time with God as he drinks tea? No, he spends time with God as he drinks coffee. What does he do while he drinks coffee? Yeah, he spends time with God as he drinks coffee. Afterwards, he takes a shower while his wife prepares breakfast. What does he do while his wife prepares breakfast? Right. He takes a shower. Does he brush his teeth while his wife prepares breakfast? No, he doesn't. He takes a shower. Together, they eat breakfast at around 7 a.m. Do they eat breakfast together? Yes, they do. What time do they eat breakfast? Yes, at around 7 a.m. Usually, they talk about their kids. What do they usually talk about? Yes, they talk about their kids. Do they talk about sports? No, they talk about their kids. But this morning, they talked about what they would do this weekend. What did they talk about this morning? That's right. They talked about what they would do this weekend. Did they talk about the news? 
No, they didn't. Did they talk about their kids? No, they didn't. This weekend, they will go to the park for picnic. What will they do this weekend? That's right. They will go to the park for a picnic. When will they go to the park? That's right. This weekend. Will they go to the park next weekend? No, they won't. They will go to the park this weekend. After their breakfast, Mike goes to work. Does Mike go to work after lunch? No, he doesn't. When does Mike go to work? Right, after breakfast. He reaches the office before 9 a.m. Does he reach the office at 8.30 a.m.? No, he doesn't. What time does he reach the office? Correct. Before 9 a.m. At lunchtime, he goes out with his co-workers. Does he go out with his wife at lunchtime? No, he doesn't. Who does he go out with at lunchtime? His co-workers. They have lunch at a restaurant. Where do they have lunch? At a restaurant, that's correct. Do they have lunch in the office? No, they don't. They have lunch at a restaurant. Okay, we are almost done with our story with Mike. I hope you are doing well. And I hope you are answering quickly. Because this is our goal in doing this exercise. So in the next few paragraphs, I want you to answer as quickly as possible. Okay? Let's continue. After work, he goes to the gym to work out. What does he do after work? Yes, he goes to the gym to work out. Why does he go to the gym? Yes, he goes to the gym to work out. Or a short answer, to work out. At 6 p.m., he goes home. Does he go home at 5 p.m.? No, he doesn't. Then what time does he go home? Yes, he goes home at 6 p.m. Or simply at 6 p.m. They have dinner as a family at 7 p.m. What time do they have dinner as a family? Right, 7 p.m. Do they have dinner at 6 p.m.? No, they don't. They have dinner at 7 p.m. After dinner, he reads the Bible for his kids. What does he do after dinner? 
He reads the Bible for his kids. Does he watch the TV with his kids? No, he doesn't. Then finally, he goes to bed. What does he do after reading the Bible to his kids? Yes, he goes to bed. Does he play computer games after reading the Bible to his kids? No, he doesn't. Does he take a walk outside? No, he doesn't. He goes to bed. All right, that ends our listening and speaking practice. I hope you did well. But if you didn't, it's okay. Because I want you to listen to this once every day. In the next five days. So please listen to this at least one time every day. That way, you will improve in your listening and speaking faster. Alright, God bless you.